<laughs> good day, good day. <laughs> How the hunk are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano. And I got a little something for you today. We're going to be taking a look at the Matchbox Super Fast. That's right. Matchbox Super Fast. This is, where do they have it listed here? The number 51, I don't know, but are they both 50? Yeah, number 51, Land Rover Discovery. Yes, and uh, we'll get into why I'm making this video, but for right now, let's take a look. What do we got going on? First off, variation number nine. This is the MB524 Land Rover Discovery, the super fast uh, series. This is number nine of the variation listed by BAMCA. I'll, I'll give you their uh, little plug there. This is where I kind of get a lot of my information. They're very good, uh, very good. But anyway, variation number nine, 2005 it came out. And uh, I don't know if you really read that stuff. But anyway, uh, 2005 is when this came out. This, um, as you see, I've got uh, two of them, and um, this is a limited edition, uh, one of one of up to, I like, very precise, very precise, numbered here, one of up to fifteen thousand five hundred. Yes, so it came with a collector box, comes uh, with the car. Uh, double, it, it, a big clam uh, to put it onto the card, but also the car is on a uh, clam uh, plastic uh, to hold it as well. So really kind of cool. You know, I, I do have a box, but of course, did I bring that out? No, I've got it. You know I do. All right, let's take a look at this uh, beauty. Um, this is just a gorgeous truck. I don't know why, but my lighting is really kind of goofy today. There we go. Uh, just a beautiful 2005 edition of the Discovery. The Discovery is one of my favorite castings from Matchbox. Totally, totally underrated. Um, they could have done a lot more with this casting uh, and stuff like that, but, you know, they just haven't, you know. But... Uh, uh, beautiful car, I I tell you, just just a great car. Uh, this is uh, so the the base is black, black plastic, and uh, let's get it around here so you can see it. Black plastic, made in China. There, two thousand is the uh, Land Rover Discovery. There, uh, one rivet construction. It hooks in the back there, the bumper. Very nicely done. Now this is the deluxe deluxe model, a super fast. Does not come with rubber wheels, but it does have the full deco uh, treatment. The car itself is um, the body is metallic red with trim. Interior is tan. The wheels are five spoke slotted, is what they call those. And you know. To be honest with you, this is about the only thing that I don't like about this. They could have picked a better wheel. That's just my my uh, preference there. And the glass is clear, uh, colorless, they call it. But uh, here we go. Full deco all the way around. Um, painted gray. Just kind of simple uh, headlights and even the, uh, the fog lights, which are part of the base. So they're painting the base. I don't know if they put the car together and then paint it or paint the base and then ship them out to be mated with the body. A uh, little Land Rover on the nose. Very, very nice. Then with the body, uh, they have uh, side markers. They have the uh, handles. They have the eyebrows. And also the window trim is done with the side mirror. Very, very nice. Lot of details here. We're already up into four colors, black, red, and orange. Oh, I guess that's three. I can count. Uh, three colors that they're uh, painting on this. Nice rear end. Uh, excuse me, ladies. I've just got to mention that. <laughs> uh, 612. I'm not really sure. 612 TW. Hmm. I'm sure that means something, but I don't know. 
If you know, comment down below. What, what does that mean? I'm not sure. Um, yeah. Well, anyway, beautiful. Got a spare tire on the back. Uh, passenger side, just a beautiful truck. This is a beautiful color. This is great. I really like this. Uh, dual sunroof. Very nicely detailed interior. Very, very cool. Uh, so there we go. So that was uh, uh, variation number nine. Uh, so uh, that was a U.S. release, U.S. release mainly. And so then we go on to variation number uh, 10, uh, which was also limited edition, one of up to uh, 15,500. Now, I bought this one at uh, KB Toys, uh, $299. So uh, if, I suppose if this was going, what are they now, four for something almost five bucks for a super fast now off the shelf so um yeah very very nice so this came out in 2005 as well um just a very nice little bit different on the back of the card there yeah interesting all right and this is kind of why i like to keep the card around you know so you can kind of see you know just a a history of what matchbox is doing uh, very very nice card art there kind of the same as before um, yeah still number 51 the uh, Land Rover Discovery and uh, very very nice car all right well you know I got three of those buggers and guess what I got a loose one too so let's just take a look at that one all righty uh, you know what actually we're done kind of looking at the boxes i'm going to bring this down just a little bit so we can get a little bit closer here and uh, take a look now this is a beautiful one as well not quite as a metallic uh black base let's take a look at the base here which way am i going here yes this way that way yeah this way all right this way uh doesn't have that inked um date or whatever on it but uh yeah, just a just a very nice truck. Yep, same same base, plastic, one rivet. Uh, the metallic in this one is not as um, noticeable, I think, or or whatnot. But it's not as metallic-y. <laughs> metallic -y. I'm gonna <laughs> if I could use that word for a minute. Um, yeah, just kind of cool. I just noticed that even the fog lights down below on the bodywork are uh, painted silver. Then the fog lights in the A bar, bull bar are painted. Uh, same kind of deco and things like that as the uh, red one. So black base. Um, boy, am I missing? Uh, oh no! Uh, you know what? Uh, I am uh, on a line here. <laughs> I am on a line. This is not number ten variation. Um, the ten variation. Uh, was the rest of the world, which was a pea green one. And you know what? I don't have that one. Um, but pea green, uh, gray interior with the five spoke slotted wheels, smoke, but it was rest of the world. And 2005, I don't have that one. That's the number 10 one. I got to read my notes here while I'm going along. All right. So this, um, this is the number version 14, sorry, so 2006, so the next year, uh, in the U.S. release, this is uh, number 6 of the MB524 Discovery Superfast. So this one, black base, metallic dark blue is what they call that with a trim. Interior is black, so very kind of hard to see here, uh, but uh, very, very sharp. Uh, now, this has the five-spoke triangular uh, wheels, which are totally, totally, I love these wheels so much better than uh, those uh, slotted ones. They're just not as cool. Just not as cool. Just not as cool as these here. I really like these. And these, I think, are more of the classic, what people like as far as super fast wheels. Uh, just a very, very nice one. Um, different license plate on this one. SG22085. Uh, I think that says mat, uh, Matchbox on the top there as well. Very, very kind of cool. A um, little bit different uh, taillight configuration as well. Yeah, look at that. Oh, there's some variations there. That is cool. 
Nice, nice. All right, so let's get on to this. Why am I making this video is because of this bad boy. Just got this one in the mail. Uh, bought it off eBay and a lot. Uh, I did do some cleaning up on it because it was uh, mucky. <laughs> so I do not have this one. Uh, this is version 15 super fast, 2007. Even though it is a U.S. release, I don't have anything at all like this. Uh, these usually go for good money. So I bought this and uh, with a couple other cars. This, pro this cost me under $10 to have this, but I, at least I have kind of a place set or something to put with it. So black base, white, just plain white. There is no pearl in there. There is something to be said about um, the enamel white. Is is really makes things sharp, really cool. With the black trim, black interior like the blue one. Uh, the five spoke uh, triangulars, which is nice, and the smokeless or colorless uh, um, glass windows. So, yeah, supposed to be having all the details, uh, the uh, the paint on the bull bar there. For the fog lights, obviously that wears off pretty easy. One, it sticks right out there so, uh, you know, it could get brushed up. This is very, very play-worn. Very, very play-worn, as you can see. I did not know that it had a black uh, stripe down the side. That is kind of cool with the eyebrows, uh, the window trim as well as uh, everything else, but very, very cool. Let's see how we did on the back. Okay, so this is this is matching the uh, blue one as far as taillight uh, um, um, detailing. Uh, and also, now the uh, license plate holder, Charl, Charl, is that like Charles Mack? Who the heck is Charles Mack? Is that Charles Mack? <laughs> I don't know, but these are all different. Nice. But anyway, yeah, let me know if you guys know any more of these details about these things. It's very, very hard to get information about intricate details of these things like this. Uh, interestingly enough, we put this black stripe on the side, but we sacrificed the doorknobs. The door handles were not... Uh, well, this side does. Yeah, you can see the remnants. Maybe they, they were... And they are just rubbed right off. Excuse me. Yeah, looks like it right there. Yeah, yeah. They were, they come right off on this side, unless that's an error or you know whatnot. But uh, very very nice, boy. If uh, oh, if we could stay focused here. Very very nice. Uh, I like this. I wish I could get a uh, mint in the package as well as one mint loose. Always on the lookout, and that's where the, this one came in. As you guys remember, I bought this one. I had an unboxing video. I bought this uh, Nissan Pathfinder so uh, I could uh, use the wheels for them. But you know what? I can't. I don't know if the camera is picking this up or not, but the Discovery has plain silver, and this uh, Nissan has tinted yeah it's off colored silver they're not bright they're not a bright silver like the uh, discovery well that goes that i guess i'm selling him at the yard sale <laughs> all right well hey there you go folks we took a look at the matchbox super fast if we get focused in here the matchbox super fast Land Rover Discovery, one of my cool, awesome uh, trucks. I really like these. Um, yeah, I'm out of here. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, come on over to Facebook to Roverland Channel. Uh, uh, the, that's the Instagram, Roverland Channel. Over to Facebook, it's just Roverland. Check us out there. Join up if you could, or if you would. Yes. And uh, yeah, Instagram, Roverland Channel. Thank you for joining me. Make sure you subscribe, man. You got to subscribe. Yeah, you got to subscribe. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. As always, my friends, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.